In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the count if and count ifs functions in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. And here we have a spreadsheet of a bunch of American football players. And I would like to count how many of these players from two different teams weigh more than 330 pounds. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that in Excel. So here we have a column of their weights and there are 307 total players. I don't wanna to have to really count through those manually. So instead, I'll just click here, and I could click anywhere in the spreadsheet, really, but I'll just keep it in the weight column. So I click on the cell, type equals, and count if. So this will count each of the cells that I specify based on certain criteria. I'll put in my left parenthesis, and now I need to specify the range that I'm going to examine. The range is going to be the data in column G. So I'll put in G2 through, and the way you signify through is with a colon, G307. So you can see now all of that data in column G is highlighted. Now I'll put in my comma, and now Excel wants me to enter a criteria. What is the criteria that it's looking for? It's going to count the cells in this column if what? And that's why it's count if and not just count or count a. So what is my criteria? I want it to be if the number is higher than, let's say, 329. So 330 pounds or higher. Now I'm tempted to put in the greater than symbol and put 329. But when using the count if or count ifs functions, the operators in the criteria have to be enclosed in double quotes. So here, instead of putting greater than 329, I need to put quote greater than 329 and close quote. Now I put in my right parenthesis and tap enter and Excel has looked through this data here in column G and found that there are 11 players that weigh 330 pounds or higher on these two teams. So that's an example of how to use count if, but what about count ifs? Let's say I want to know how many weigh 330 pounds or more, specifically on the Arizona team. How could I do that? I'm just gonna click on my count if formula so that I can go up here to the formula bar and make some adjustments to my formula. I'm gonna click after the F in count if and I'll add an S, count ifs. Notice what Excel says about count ifs. It counts the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. And I'm just gonna keep the same range. I still want to know if the weight is higher than 329, but at the end of that criteria, I'm gonna put in a comma, and because I'm using count ifs instead of count if, I can actually have another criteria range and another criteria. So for this second criteria, I'm gonna look not in column G, but in column B, because that's where the team names are. So I'm gonna look in B2 through B307, comma, and what is the criteria? What am I looking for? What I'm looking for is the word Arizona. So in quotation marks, I could put in Arizona, close quote, right parenthesis, tap enter, and look at the results of my formula. Now it shows the number six. There are six players on the Arizona team that weigh 330 pounds or more. And I want you to know that there's another way I could have expressed this same criteria. I could have put equals Arizona, tap enter, and I still get the number six. Clicking on the cell with my formula, I want you to see that it's also possible to add another comma and a third criteria range and a third criteria. So that's one of the powerful things about count ifs, is you can have multiple criteria that you want to examine as part of your formula. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button. You'll get some nice features and be able to learn even more about technology and you'll learn more about my channel and have access to nice additional features. You can also support my channel by clicking the thanks button below the video and support me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for what you do to support the channel.